Here we have another question from the iStructi Structural Behavior course. This one's about cables. The weightless cable is loaded on one side only and sags as shown. If the dip at the midspan is 1.6 meters, what is the maximum dip in the cable? Try this problem for yourself. Pause the video and come back to it when you are done. So first thing we need to do is try to find the reactions as always. So we have a vertical reaction there, another one here. Um, this is a cable and if you kind of think about how cable structures are, if you try to load it, the supports will try to come together. So we're expecting a horizontal uh, reaction going outwards like this. Okay. Right, so let's put our equilibrium equations then. VA plus VB is equal to 8 times 5, which is the 8 kilonewtons per meter up here, multiplied by the total load, so that will be 40. Um, okay, we don't know how it's distributed yet, so let's take moments about A. So then we've got, um, well, so that basically eliminates both of the horizontals and the vertical at A. So we have uh, 8 kilonewtons per meter. Uh, so we're summing all the clockwise moments first, which is the UDL. 8 kilonewtons per meter times by 5 meters times by, well, it's, it's being applied at this point here, which is going to be 2.5 plus another 5. So that is 7.5 meters. Okay, and that is equal to VB times 10 meters, which is uh, this lever arm here. Right, so then let's solve that. We've got 10 VB and, we've, and on the left hand side, we've got eight times five, which is 40 times 7.5. 300 is equal to 10 VB. So VB is equal to 30 and therefore VA is equal to um, 10 kilonewtons. Let's put that in. It's equal to 30 kilonewtons and VA is equal to 10 kilonewtons. Okay, then uh, what next? We need to try and find the horizontal forces. So, um, let's take a known point which uh, in the structure. So we've got this known point here. Now the good thing about uh, cables is basically the bending moment at any point along the cable is zero because a cable is way too flexible to be able to carry any bending moments. So uh, we can just equate what we can um, Let's equate it at that point there. So we have 1.6 meters. Let's call that point X. Um, so moment, I'm I'm asserting that moment's equal zero. Um, and this is only true for cables, okay? Um, because it's basically a long pin, uh, a lot of pins uh, in a row. So I'm asserting M is equal to zero. And then, okay, we've got 10 kilonewtons there, and we've got some horizontal force there. And that f distance is uh, five meters, so that this is actually the mid span of that cable. Good, and there's, these are the only two f uh, forces. These are both reaction forces. There's no applied forces. So good, we've got, um, Clockwise, we've got 10 kilonewtons times 5 meters is equal to 1.6 meters times HA. So uh, HA is going to be 50 divided by 1.6, and that is equal to 31.25 kilonewtons. And because these are the only two horizontal forces, they are equal to each other. HA is equal to HB. 
And what did I say that was? 31.25. And that is 31.25. Right. Um, so we've got this unknown value that we need to solve for. We've got this, um, yeah, we've got this basically not sure what that length is. And so let's call this one x. And I'm going to pull that point there, Z. Z if you're American, Z if you speak English like the rest of us. Um, the British English, I mean, <laughs> didn't mean to sound so sarcastic. Okay. Um, right, so then at the maximum dip then. What do we have? We've got... Um, H, B, V, B, we've got some unknown value there of X. And we've got, we're also making, we're also making use of the fact that M moment is equal to zero. But the key thing for cables, um, parabolic structures generally, I guess, um, but cables may, more than anything else, is that the maximum dip, um, if, if I just point to that, you should you should be able to tell that the tangent at that dip is, is completely horizontal. Because it's horizontal, therefore there's no vertical f uh, force if I take a, f a free body diagram. Okay, so... So let me just put that there. There is some horizontal force, but the vertical force, here is the assertion. I am asserting that vertical is zero at that point. And that's actually quite, that's like the key to solving this question. Eight kilonewtons per meter, I think that was right. Yes, eight kilonewtons per meter. Okay, so the assert with that assertion that at that free body diagram v is equal to zero, we can we can resolve for whatever that x is because we know um, uh, we uh, can we oh we still need to find out an h. Um, how would I go about this? Ah, two unknowns. Okay, right. You know what? Let's look at the other side of, um, of the maximum dip. <laughs> Slight change of tack. All right. Let's look at the left hand side. We've got H A. V A. It's still the same point. So um, M is equal to zero. V. Uh, v is equal to zero doesn't matter how I, uh, yeah, it does matter how I draw it, but we had x from that previous co coordinate before. Um, that was 5 metres. I'm going to have to call this one x. Uh, mm, mm. How would I do this? Ah, okay, I know, I know. It's even more simple than uh, than trying to resolve moments. Let's go back to the right hand side. You'll see you're seeing me think in in real time, which is actually a good thing. Don't think that I don't make mistakes. Okay, so instead of looking at uh, moments for this, we can look at the vertical equilibrium because that would. Um, Because, yeah, that, that re re negates the need for that H at this point in time. Okay, so vertical equilibrium is 8 kilonewtons per meter times by X meters 
is equal to VB. VB we, we already have, which was 30 kilonewtons. So let's actually scrub that out, that VB, 30 kilonewtons. Okay, well then X is equal to 30 over 8, and that is going to be uh, 3 point something, uh, 3.75 meters. Oh, good, all right. <laughs> Nearly gave myself a fright there. 3.75 meters. In which case, actually, we can just... Uh, can we solve for the uh, rest of it? Yeah, I think we can. Um, let's take moments around. Let's take. Uh, let's get rid of that. We should be able to just solve the moments around this point here. Then. Uh, so we've got a. Um, so if we take uh, sorry that's Z that point there is Z okay so eight kilonewtons per meter times three point seven five meters times that again divided by two which is our maximum uh, which is our lever arm so we, that's the clockwise we need another clockwise which is HB times some unknown value which we're trying to solve for. Uh, HB we, we we already know as well thirty one point two five so actually let's scrub this HB out thirty one point two five H small H is equal to uh, anti clockwise we've got VB so thirty kilonewtons times three point seven five meters which is our lever arm and we should be able to solve for H there. Let me just change the colour of the ink. So 3.75 squared divided by 2 times 8. So that part there is 56.25. 30 times 3.75 on the right. That is 112.5 there. So our H is equal to 112.5 minus 56.25 all divided by 31.25. H is equal to divided by 31.25 is equal to 1.8 meters. And that is our final answer.